What's going on, it's your boy DJ the Hot Sauce here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm sure I am. I'm bringing you, bringing you a live com or a commentary, but with a small twist into it. Because if you think of it, Black Ops 3 is at the end of his life cycle, right? And I'm like level 526, even though it's not the highest level in the game. Like my friend over here, uh, where is he? Is he even on now? But I can find him right over here. Let me find him. Load up. Like this guy, you know? Or this guy. But I found 500. It's a pretty cool level, and I just like a 500 there. But now I went on the internet to find a class setup generator, and my <laughs> class setup generator gave me a Vesper, a Varix 3, and a Long Barrel, and you could see my attachments and my perks. So this is going to be Super AIDS, and I'm not excited for it, but I am, you know? Because I'm the hot sauce, and I play with anything <laughs> anything I want score streaks they gave me as well as a counter guardian and wraps if I do get wraps holy smokes I'm freaking G you know what I mean but yeah uh, this is gonna be live commentary just what's on my mind I have like two things if I remember yeah one thing is for sure I do remember but the second thing if I forget I forget but yeah so see you guys in the game Okay, right, I'm back. The game just started, kind of, and this gun looks like a... But it's not about the gun right now. It's about the commentary. So let's hop into the sexy-ass commentary. So hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. I'm sure... Or not Thursday for me, but Tuesday. But uh, let's jump into the commentary, like I said. So first thing is, thank you so much to the like two people that I know. Don't get me wrong, I love everyone who gives me advice. But these two people... Or actually, we'll see. Yeah, two. My bad, my bad. Said one of them said, "Hey, put your uh, link in your Instagram for your channel because for me, I don't really want to watch your your videos, and I can't find it on YouTube because you're not big as big as as big yet, you know." So I'm like, "All right, thanks, man. I would do it." And guess what? I did it. And I like that kind of advice, like small, tiny advice. You know, what I mean, it's not like tell me what to run, but just say, "Hey, man, you should." do this a bit better if you guys feel me i like advice but if i feel like you're pressuring me of uh, doing something that i don't feel like it's right like i won't hate you i just have will find you annoying as as like as hell i guess right so and another thing is as one of my friends says hey man don't worry about how much videos you post it's about the quality not the quantity not like that but i find it's I can't really do anything about my quality. Um, it's my computer's pretty good. It's just the internet's kind of weak on my side, but you know, I'm fine with this three to one bar. It's just why? What's the point of fighting with the internet? You know. So hopefully, one day I will get better internet. But right now, it's not really the case. I'm not really worried about it because if I worry about it, it makes it even worse, and it's pointless pretty much to worry about it if you can't really fix it or complain about it. Right? So. The better part of just shut the, uh, shut, oh my god, I almost said the F-bomb. Just shut up and just deal with it. Or right, come stop complaining about it. So that's one of them. So thanks to both of them. I know you guys watch my videos, so you guys know who you are. Don't get me wrong, it's not, not only the two people there, but like most of my friends at school or over Xbox, you know, it's pretty fun. And when I do like live comps or mostly like doing comp videos or um what else like any type of video like you saw wednesday with chaz and like it's pretty fun I, I enjoy making videos and editing them you know i get a lot of shit from one of my few of my fans um to say hey come play come play but i'm like dude editing takes a bit longer i should have kinetic armor there but you know editing takes a long time and i love it it <laughs> just it's so much fun editing it and see where i could come from I feel bad, bro. I'm using a badass fucking aim like <laughs> this and then just frame. Oh, jeez. But, um, second part is, uh, this happened a few days ago or basically happened on Monday. So, when I'm recording this is Tuesday. But on Monday, um, my mom picked us up after school. And after school, you know, it's a normal routine and stuff, you know. Sometimes, like, that day was super hot for me. Or, <laughs> the day was super hot for all of us, right? So, we just think of going to stop to the gas station right or whatever to get some drinks and um and we did but the thing the problem was is that our, we felt the car when we like 
my mom, when my mom turned on the car again, you gotta realize this car is like 2004 Chevy Ultra, or something like that. It's blue, and um, it just uh, rattled a bit, and it wasn't really fun. And even I, as a, not a mechanic, as a freaking gamer that I am, knew that the car shouldn't be moving, <laughs> shaking like that. You know, it looks like someone was twerking on that that biatch. You know, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's not good. So let's stop at the gas station and see what's wrong while getting them drinks. We, we stand there for a good 30 minutes or so to see what's wrong and we couldn't find a problem really. We thought it was a different uh, problems. So my mom was like, okay, let's start it up. It's She started it up, it's perfectly fine and everything. It just it's, wasn't, it was okay. But when you start putting some gas or some force into it, oh, that, that stuff was like really, really bad, you know? So my mom was okay. Hopefully we could go to the nearest garage to fix it. Guess what? We were stuck between a. So on our left, if you, if you guys can manage it, it's a big mall or a big center that you find like a grocery store, a good life fitness, like a gym, basically. You know, in general. To. Uh, sorry, it's just so hard for me to talk and play at the same time. Trying to do good. But um, yeah, we were stuck in the middle of this intersection with this blue car. For me, it wasn't really bad as bad, but don't get me wrong, it's stressful as hell that you have... Oh my god, I'm trying to stop cussing. I should name this the Stop Cussing Challenge, but like, it's so hard to... Um, it's not hard, but it's funny to see how people are retarded how they drive. It's because my mom uh, put the, the hazard lights, and you for sure when you put hazard lights, that means um, go around me or be... Be caution. I, I'm not doing too good. But these, um, what can we call these? Goo fucks. Oh my god. Can get out of my way? Goo fucks, right? And like, they didn't pass by. So my mom, you know, and I got out of the car, but put her window, or, uh, her hand out the window. And like, move, 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 go ahead. And it was so funny that it just, I'm like, bro, how did you get your license? So at the end of the story, we, wait, we waited at the end of the day for like an extra three hours. And um, so my school finished at 3.35, so we were there at 6, 6.30. And even got home around like 8 to 9. And by the way, we just got a car. We're going to get that on Wednesday. So this video will be on Thursday. But Wednesday we got a car and it's like a uh, Kia? No, no, not, not Kia. It's a North Korean car, but this shit's jacked, bro. You have like two USB plugs. Like it's, it's a modern car. But I hope you guys did enjoy this commentary. I know it's not exciting or it wasn't really a um, hype up video. It just I'm tired. It's like super late for me and I'm going to have a long day tomorrow to get that card. But hopefully like, you guys did enjoy this commentary. 14 and 9 with a Vesper, but Vespers are OP as fuck. AF. So I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and peace.